Iran and Russia aim to further strengthen long historical relationship. Wednesday, Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif met his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov and held a meeting in Tehran's Foreign Ministry building. The aim of the meeting was to discuss the recent developments of the Geneva Three meeting between Iran and the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council plus Germany, or E3 plus 3, and the ongoing Syrian crisis. Russia supports Iran's right to uranium enrichment and the pursuit of nuclear energy for civilian purposes. In the meeting, Iran has reiterated and showed that under the guidelines of International Atomic Energy Agency, their pursuit is for peaceful purposes. In the next six months, the IAEA is monitoring Iran's enrichment program to make sure it follows the guidelines of international laws. Actually, the meetings held in Geneva were quite extensive. We held bilateral sideline meetings with several foreign ministers from attending the meeting. However, we held the most amount of meetings on the sidelines with Mr. Lavrov. Even at one point, it was a trilateral meeting with our Chinese counterpart. These sideline meetings are what helped come up with a resolution. With regards to the Geneva Two peace talks on Syria, both Zarif and Lavrov believed the Syrian people should decide their future with no outside pressures, especially military intervention by countries such as the U.S., Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Turkey. We have said this time and again that only a political solution can solve the Syrian crisis. The international community can only enter the negotiations. Most importantly, Iran should be there because of their role in the region. But the Syrian people ultimately decide their future. Iran's stance is that only dialogue can solve the Syrian crisis peacefully. A government should be elected by the people without outside influences. The country's sovereignty and independence is in the Syrian people's hands. Finally, both discuss how Russia and Iran can partner to help end the killings occurring in both Afghanistan and Iraq at the hands of foreign-backed militant groups. Both foreign ministers discuss increasing bilateral and economic ties between both nations. Russia's Foreign Minister Lavrov reiterated the fact that Russia supports Iran's right to enrich uranium and pursue nuclear technology for peaceful purposes based on international rules and guidelines. In addition, both foreign ministers explained that the international community must respect Syria's rights, independence, and sovereignty, and that the Syrian people should decide the fate of their country. Reporting for Press TV, Amir Hossein Eskandar from the Iranian Foreign Ministry Office in Tehran.